Welcome. Select player tells or perfect and proceed. Hey guys, what do you think of this hat? Does this is a uh, inconspicuous van dweller trying to lay low, not be noticed, fit into the crowd. Um, yeah, I, Tiffany doesn't like this hat. Uh, I think it looks like uh, a Chinese man in his 70s uh, who's a tourist at Disneyland. Um, but anyway, I like this hat. I don't care. I don't care what anyone thinks. It's pretty cool because sun is your enemy. You want to keep the sun off your face. I hate the sun. I hate direct sun. I like light and everything. I like the warmth of the sun, but I don't like it on my skin. So this is an interesting product or combination of products here by C-Tech. I've been staring at these things for the longest time and I just came back and looked at them and started really digging in to find out what the heck is this thing. So it's made up of two different products, the D250S Dual and then the Smart Pass. Um, confusing names. So basically this is, uh, it turns out this is what you know you already have basically. This is your uh, out here battery negative and this would be um, that's where the solar panels get wired into. This is the unique thing, and this is basically taking the um, job of my... It's basically taking the place of this, I guess, battery doctor, 125 amp, 150 amp battery isolator. And it's worked all right. Um, it just charges from your uh, alternator to the batteries and turns it, you know, it's supposed to be like a smart thing, so it turns off when it, the battery is charged. And yeah, it's worked okay. But look at the price, 63 bucks. And it's basically a battery isolator. This is a digital version of it. Um, it has a shut off so that you don't deplete your starter battery. And it's worked pretty good, but really look at the price, 63 bucks. You compare that to this, this is $213. And what this is, is basically the battery isolator combined with a solar charge controller. Here's the solar charge controller that I got, $150. And notice though, it's also 30 amp, so it's a third more. Uh, the other one was 20 amp max, which is not a lot. That's gonna give you, what, two panels? Maybe two to three 100 watt panels at most. So I think an average solar panel puts out about seven amps. Correct me if I'm wrong on that, but I think that's the average. So you could actually get four 100 watt panels, seven times four, 28. So just under the 30 amp. Ah, look at that. Turns out the funny thing here is it's exactly the same price, $213. If you went out and bought those two units yourself versus buying this. But like I said, you get 30 amp versus 20 amp. And with only a 20 amp battery charger, you're probably at most only gonna be able to use three panels three 100 watt panels. Okay, so it's not so bad on price at this point, but then what is this here? What is the smart pass? This is what I was struggling with for a long time. This is, all it is, is an upstep, upstep converter or something like that. I'm not, I know a little bit about electronics, but it ups the amperage up to 80 amps. And the reason being uh, the amperage coming from the battery isolator through that cable, you should get a thick gauge one. But even then, it's still, uh, alternators are not capable of supplying that many amps. Unless you, like, seriously upgrade it. But I think this one upsteps it, so it'll, like, store it, you know, and then uh, it'll store up energy amps until it's ready to, until it reaches 80 amps and let it flow into the battery. And the reason is, is because an isolator, a battery isolator, can't fully charge a battery. At most, it can get up to like 85%. It needs higher amp amperage to get that last little bit into the battery. That's what this product is. Let's check out the price of it. Not a lot of reviews on this, only four reviews. It's $223. I don't really have an opinion on that because I don't really have anything to compare it to. So I like where they're going with this, but I think they would be better off if they combined all their units into just one product. So here's a diagram of this video. By the way, this is the best video out there. C-Tech D250S Dual and Smart Pass Review. Uh, I'll put a link in the description if I remember. Check out this diagram. This is both of those products here. There's the battery charge controller 
and then here's the smart pass also and then this uh, diagram you can see the battery the starter battery and the leisure battery your battery bank and then there's also this over here this is what got me into this is uh, a smart, uh, wall charger wall battery charger so that when I'm at a campsite or whatever I can just plug in and then have it convert to using shore power um, so here's an idea for a product why don't they combine all these units into one let's put these two uh, the battery charge controller and the smart pass that bumps it up to 80 amps put that into one unit and then over here is the uh, standalone battery charger that you would plug into a wall how about combine that in here as well so it's just one unit with this little auxiliary light bulb thing over here and then just another power cord that you can plug in and it should be smart enough to switch between all of those and also have enough amperage to charge the leisure battery fully so why don't they come up with something like that why not combine all those things and I think this is a unit that, that attempts to do that and if you look here you'll see that it's got the solar input and also a wall charger that you can plug right into it and the cool thing about this is that it's now lithium batteries so you don't have to rely on lead acid or the AGM plus the size of these are a lot smaller than the regular huge 12 volt batteries I'm used to dealing with but I mean look at the price $309 look how compact it is I'm back to this thing over here so I always had this question in my mind is it possible to use three dis different charging methods at the same time I mean for instance say you've got your solar panels and those are charging it's like mid-afternoon full Sun and you've also decided to start your car to listen to music so now the battery isolator is kicking back power into the batteries and then for some reason you think oh my batteries are pretty low I want to jump start these um, I'm gonna plug in my battery charger into the wall now you've got all those charging methods at the same time I think they're all 12 volt right but it's gonna all of them uh, together are gonna increase the amperage that's flowing into the batteries so Got to determine like how many amps is are going into the batteries. I think every solar panel on average is about seven amps in full sun, and then the battery charger you manually set that to whatever you want. A lot of them are 10 amp, which is the recommended, and then 20 amp for fast charging. I've even seen 30 amp and used it myself, and it's probably you want to avoid that because it, it does put extra stress on the batteries. So the recommended is about 10 amp so yes you can do it um, you got to keep all that in mind what are you gonna set your battery charger to 10 amp and then say you've got four panels that's 20 amp right there so my question is can the battery absorb it and I think the, it depends on the size of your battery bank if you have four batteries like me they can take the amperage and spread it out amongst all the batteries so that 30 amp translates down to about about seven amps and that's perfectly under that 10 amp recommended amperage to charge your batteries with so yeah it should be fine now if you had a smaller battery bank maybe just one battery then yeah that might be a problem the danger is putting so many amps into the battery that you overheat it and that will damage the battery hey guys this is a 12 volt um, 120 watt 6.5 amp uh, three sockets uh, 12 volt sockets DC outlets and then there's um, four USB ports here so the cool thing is it's either uh, 12 volts or uh, 24 volt is what it's advertising as. and um, the cool thing is that you can charge uh, rapidly charge four devices at the same time here and it'll provide up to 120 watts which is awesome and that's only possible through such a thick cable like this. Now this is most likely not something you're not going to be able to achieve that, that many amps by just using the socket, the standard socket that's uh, installed in your van or your car uh, because the wire before that up to the socket is going to be a lot uh, thinner gauge. So this is a pretty low thick gauge wire here. I don't know what it is. Let me see. All right, so the literature that comes with it doesn't really tell you what gauge of wire that is, but just by looking at it, 
I can't, I don't know how much insulation is on it, but it looks pretty thick. Another cool feature uh, with this is that when you plug it in, you can't see it now, but there's like a little LED screen right there. There's a little protective uh, vinyl on it right now, but when I plug that in, it'll illuminate and it'll give you a readout of the volts of the battery. So all I know is that this, there's a uh, 10 amp fuse in this right here, and that there are um, 2.1 amp rapid charge, I guess. Uh, and then, so it actually advertises that it'll do five volts charging. The cord right here, this is uh, 40 inches long. And then they also applied some like 3M adhesive on the back so you can stick it somewhere. So I got this to hook up to my battery bank. I won't be plugging this into the dash on the vehicle. Um, yeah, I have my own socket and I'm gonna make sure that it's got really heavy duty gauge, low gauge wire. This is nice and compact and provides all these ports for charging. So I like that. So we'll see how it goes. It's the uh, H-Geek. Yeah, this looks pretty cool. I think this will serve my purposes. And here's the next product that I just bought that I want to show you. It's the Manfrotto, how do you pronounce that? MT Pixie B, Pixie Mini Tripod Black. Look at the price, $18.90, 19 bucks. Let's look at some of the pictures of it. What does this thing do? So it's just a little mini tripod and you can see different configurations that it has. And here it is. I got the additional adapter to hold uh, my cell phone here, and it's got a nice beefy spring right here. When you depress this right here, then you can rotate this head in like a 360 kind of fashion. I don't know. <clears throat> and another thing you can do is, like in those pictures, hold it up like this, and then you're, look, I'm selfie man. I'm one of those dorks. Look at me. It, you know, at least it's a little bit more compact than one of those selfie sticks. I have one of those. And it's nice because, you know, before this, I had one of those Gorilla Pods, and it was the mini version. And I felt like it just took so long to get it balanced out so that it wouldn't fall down on itself. And this is nice. I mean, granted, it's one-handed right now, but you can put it down in place really quickly. And I gotta say, like... The feel of it is really nice in your hand, and it's almost a rubbery texture to it. And um, this is my cell phone, or is it just an uh, old cassette tape? Did I trick you? Yes, it's really my cell phone. Look at that. Tricky Nicky. Haha. <laughs> oh man, I tricked you guys. I'm a really tricky guy. Alright, here we go. This is the Manfrotto mount for universal cell phone. Look at that price, $9.99. So, it's about $29, I think, is what it cost for the pair. So I've been using it a little bit, and I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of this thing. I really like it. Um, it's really compact, portable, really solidly made, and adjustable, uh, and quick, easy to set up, unlike that little uh, Gorilla Pod thing that I have. Here's that little Gorilla Pod thing I was talking about. So yeah, you have to like, well, I only have one hand right now, but... Hey, I should be using my pod one. I should be using this to record, so I have both hands. That's what that's for. But just to show you, yeah, I always have to bend the legs down like that. But anyway, this uh, is handy, but this is quicker. And it definitely beats the dorkiness of the selfie stick. But this is pretty cool. This gets you some angles that you normally can't get. And I noticed they're starting to ban these from places. We were at Disneyland, and there was a rule, no selfie sticks. We saw someone get... Uh, kicked out because of that or yeah they just couldn't take it in the, into the park anyway uh, this really like it solidly made uh, go get one it's the Manfrotto MT Pixie B Pixie Mini Tripod Black 1890 uh, today was kind of another lazy day I had to take care of some stuff for work you know, like, I didn't get any warning that I'd be, uh, my contract was ending on that Friday. It was, like, uh, Friday morning when they told me. And, uh, they're like, hey, uh, by the way, can you train this, uh, H-1B, uh, Indian guy that we just hired? And, um, I 
you know, I handed off my work and everything, but it's apparent that the, this guy can't even do the basics. Like he couldn't even SSH into a box. Uh, he couldn't uh, use Git. And this is like basic day-to-day -day stuff that you need to do. So it's almost like they'll just, they just want someone cheap to do the job. So, uh, man, sucks being an American citizen sometimes.